Hi everybody in YouTube land. This is John Blazy. How are you? I'm just giving a quick video on how I developed my carbon fiber product from molded textured glass, which I still make, and some updates on the development of my color changing dichroic material called Black Sea Red Burl. It's the Burl textures. Really cool. So let's take a look. This panel here is a bar top panel going in a local establishment, but it's an example of where I began making molds to pattern the dichroic layers in my glass so that it would create a much more visually interesting effect and bring out some wild colors as they're angled. And so when I began making molds to form the glass, I really love natural patterns. So I made molds for Dune. And this is my Dune product. It is the most exact representation of sand dune ripples ever made artificially, where the metallic layers on the back become the sparkling grains of sand within the dune field. And so when I develop the molds for the natural effect of dune, ripples, I thought, well, what other natural patterns can I do? So I chose a quilt pattern, which is a type of wood figure, very sought after in guitars. And I made the molds patterning the quilt pattern in 3D. And in this case, I continued, like I did with the dune, spraying metallics on the back. And I loved it, it looked cool, but it didn't mimic wood figure exact. And I figured, well, to do that, you need a chatoyant fiber material that reflects light. And that's when I bought carbon fiber and molded the carbon in the same quilt molds to create the most exact represent representation of quilted figure ever. And that developed into my solid carbon fiber, which is the same, except this is an epoxy filled version. This is a solid because I discovered that when you machine through the carbon, it retains the 3D chatoyance. Better seen in this piece, it's the same material as in this sample here, but th in this case it has a uh, high gloss urethane top coat. You can see the chatoyance looks totally 3D, even though it's the thickness of veneer. As a matter of fact, this is the source panel, one of them. We'll wipe some finish on it so you can see. It's uh, a thin veneer. I can do it very thick in solids as well, but veneers work great for guitars. And it has, listen to this, re uh, resonance. It's like metal. So it has very bright resonance, will not detract from tone. Then I developed thicker and different patterns. This one here is Wild Ribbon Flame. Totally chatoyant, really cool stuff. Make knife handles. And one of my favorite applications is gun grips. Look at the 3D chatoyance in that. There's no finish on that. It's just polished. And you can see the 3D effect, just like Tiger Eye Gemstone. So we can actually call this gem quality carbon fiber solid composites. This one has layers of metallic in it. Very cool stuff. So during the development of carbon fiber I began mastering my technique to make the Dichrolam product totally separate from carbon fiber. I started out doing bar tops like this. This panel is a leftover extra panel for a club in the Cayman Islands. All glass, very heavy, I'm not going to pick it up. But I wanted to develop a machinable version. And before I show you this, here's the machinable panel. It looks the same, except this panel can be cut up and shaped and polished which you cannot do with my glass version. So those are gun grips. 
polished out of that same material, Dichrol and Black Sea. This one is Titanium Burl, one of my favorites. has a lot of golds and other colors in it. So that's the product line, Dichrol Am and Chatoyant Carbon Fiber. Thank you.